Good afternoon and welcome to the Fallen County Board of Commissioners November 11, 2014 board meeting. Uh, I welcome all our guests and I don't see any elected officials. Remind you to turn off all cell phones, next tells and pagers. Uh, Marshall, will you bring the citizens wishing to speak? <coughs> We have uh, two people wishing to speak, Kirsten Liberty, 340 Thames, James Witch Road, and Ron Davis, 336 Summer Creek Drive. For our invocation and pledge, we have Commissioner Dave Carmichael, and if you would stand with me, you're right. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we gather in this boardroom in Paulding County and state of Georgia and the United States of America as a standing republic that has stood longer than any other republic, representatives of the people. And we would just choose to stay in your will as we gather together today and to listen to your logic and your reasoning rather than our own. Uh, in regard to veterans, Lord, I I know it's a trite saying to say that freedom isn't free, but uh, in a hostile world, in a world where planes fly into towers and people are beheaded, uh, the only way that we can ensure our security is by strong armed forces. And we pray that uh, you would be with our armed forces, whether they're on the other side of the ocean or, or here in the States, and that you would keep us prepared and ready and that you would bless us in that way. Just got us in our meeting this afternoon in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Again, just like this morning, I'll remind you that today uh, is Veterans Day, and I like to do this at both meetings. Uh, if you're a veteran, would you stand and let us on it? Thank you all for your service. Uh, there are no, uh, excuse me, minutes. Uh, action on October 28, 2014 work session minutes and October 28, 2014 board meeting minutes. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, no announcements, no invited guests. Under bid awards, ask them to award the purchase of nine Tahoes from Hardy Chevrolet based on the state contract price of $33,325, each for a total cost of $299,925. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carries 5-0. Uh, there's no reports from committees and departments of public participa participation on agenda items. We uh, have two people. We have, we have two, and I'm sure Ms. Liberty was not aware. Uh, under our ordinance, a speaker is limited to one speaking opportunity for the meeting day. Okay. Ms. Liberty spoke this morning, so it'll be Mr. Davis. Okay. Uh, Ron Davis, uh, 336 Summer Creek Drive, uh, IGA. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Ron Davis. I live in this uh, one represented on this board by Mr. Carmichael. I, um, this morning's meeting, Mr. Carmichael mentioned some of his, his perception of support within our post for the airport commercialization. I wanted to share with you my experiences. Uh, first, since this morning's meeting, I did verify that the anti-commercialization group that, um, that did the poll in the canvassing for their uh, measurement of opposition to the airport commercialization included post one. Second, I was part of a um, massive get out the vote effort in Baldwin County through my uh, activity with local po political party. Um, my, there was a lot of door-to-door -door canvassing that was done in the neighborhoods that I went to. Um, the contacts weren't made uh, specifically for airport uh, issues. There were, it was a get out the vote effort. But that prompts conversation and it prompts comments. And the measurement that I got, it, this is, is rough, but it was about 
about two to one opposition for commercialization of the airport. Um, and then finally, I've, I've spoken to you know my close friends and neighbors, just people living up the street, and I've found, um, well, Mr. Austin, you're a, you're a neighbor, so I'll say almost no support of the commercialization of the airport. Um, but it's really, you know, it's, if you listen to the people that oppose it, you'll hear pollution concerns, you hear noise concerns, and, and where we are, those don't seem to be the top concern. The top concern seems to be, why, why do we think it will succeed? You know, um, there's not really an easy way for someone outside of Pauline to get here. Uh, there's no interstate. But getting here from I-75 is tricky. Um, if you're coming here from I-20, you you're just as close to go to parts of Jackson if you're looking for an airport. Um, and even if the prices, even if, if we do commercialize this airport and the prices are competitive with Hartsville Jackson, um, Hartsville Jackson is still going to have an, an edge over the Pauline flights because they're, I mean, if you go down there, they, they've got a flight taken off for, it seems like, every city in the nation every 15 minutes. So there's a lot more flexibility with the flight schedule. And then finally, the people that I speak to in the post, they, they say, you know, we, it's easy to get to Hartsfield. I mean, literally, you leave this building and you turn left and just go straight. Yeah. And in 45 minutes, you're in the parking lot. Um, traffic is typically not hard. It's, it's an easy commute to get down to the airport. So those are the concerns that, have, that I've heard, that, that, that I've heard um, from the people in the post. So, you know, I've spoken to them as a, as a friend and neighbor and also as a political activist. And, and the position of the people in my post is, is abundantly clear. And uh, Mr. Carmichael used to vote against this. Thank you. Uh, consent agenda action uh, action on seven. Consent agenda items to hear a motion. Motion to approve. Second. <coughs> motion second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any nay? <coughs> Carries five votes. There's no old business. Under new business, action to approve First Amendment to the Intergovernmental Contract between Paulin County and the Paulin County Airport Authority for the operation of the Silver Comet Field at the Paulin County Northwest Atlanta Airport. Do I hear a motion to deny? Is there a second? Fellows for lack of a second, do I hear another motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion and second. Uh, any discussion? Um, I'd like to ask y'all again to reconsider. I know I'm beating a dead horse to death here, but um, you know the people that the businesses that have looked to move into this county here over the last, especially six months, but the last 13 months have died off when it comes to businesses because. The majority of it is because of this airport and the way we're doing business. So I just ask that we stand up for the people and deny this. One of the things that was mentioned in the uh, citizen speaking, Mr. Davis, uh, was the fact that we don't have an interstate, certainly no river coming through. And we've got a new hospital, and I know they've brought in several patients needing. Uh, here uh, quickly uh, because we have an airport here they got to that, uh, that facility more expeditiously um, I've studied three or four airports a lot one is Sanford and uh, shared airspace with Orlando one is Westchester County Commissioner Graham and I went to uh, in New York which is 51 minute drive uh, from Broadway downtown Broadway in New York Another is closer here, Asheville, which is 61 minute drive to Greenville Spartanburg, uh, and some others. Uh, out of Asheville, one 50 passenger regional jet that makes a round trip into Asheville uh, brings $43,000 into the county. $43,000. And again, I. We so much need growth, uh, strategic growth, not just uncontrolled growth uh, in Paul County. Uh, it's a resource that, just like Commissioner uh, Austin said, my wife and I originally work, work for. Uh, 
but it's here. Uh, we're commissioners, and we should use all the resources we have in, in this county to the maximum. Thank you. I got a legal question. Um, what we're voting on, in essence, doesn't affect the IGA or the legitimacy of the IGA. It still stands, the county is still contracted with the airport authority for them to operate it. The county still has financial responsibility to the airport, whether this amendment passes or not. That is correct. The IGA will stay in place. The only question by virtue of this resolution is whether it will be amended to officially state it's subordinated to the federal uh, grant compliance, uh, which, federal grant assurances. Which allows you to receive the grant to actually do the environmental assessment. I know there's contentions as to who should be doing that, but ultimately for the FAA to follow through with their commitment and their settlement of their lawsuit is you got to do an you got to do an environmental assessment, and this is one of those things they're asking you to do so that they can follow through with that. Yeah, they're they're asking the county to do this so that it will be clear as they go forward with both the county and the airport authority as sponsors. Now, it's my understanding that grant is held up until this is addressed. Well, I will say this. It certainly, that money has not begun to flow uh, until this issue gets resolved. Okay. There's a motion in the but, second. But am I correct or am I incorrect by saying that if, if the intergovernmental agreement had not been done, we would not be doing this? If the intergovernmental agreement had not been done, we would not be doing this. Uh, yeah, if there was no intergovernmental agreement, right. then the FAA would not be asking us to amend it. Exactly. Which, which is, and I know that may sound like an elementary question, however, if the intergovernmental agreement had not been done, we would not be dealing with this. this, this and everything coming up to this before the intergovernmental agreement was slapped out on the table we were okay with getting money from them and doing what we needed to do to pay for the, the environmental assessment. And again, in answer to your question, if there was no intergovernmental agreement, this, this agenda item would not be here asking for subordination. Okay, I'll call the question. There's a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. It carries four Number two, action to adopt resolution 14-33, adopting new procedures for tax refund requests. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries by vote. Number three, action to authorize the chairman to enter into a construction manager at risk, CMAR, contract with PC Construction for the new water treatment plant, river intake, Pump station reservoir intake pump station at a cost of three hundred thousand and sixty dollars for pre-construction services. A guaranteed maximum price for construction costs will be provided to the board of commissioners at a later date. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion second. Uh, in discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Carries uh, any nays. Carries five votes. No executive session. No citizens wishing to speak, do I hear a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Motion to second. All in favor say aye. 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 Stand adjourned. Thank you all.